morning and welcome to Cindy's Kitchen. We're excited that you're here. If you are brand new, this is a cooking community. We chitty chat, we laugh, we're silly, we make fun, and we cook. <clears throat> if that's too much for you to watch and you just want the down and dirty recipe and edited re um, video, then please visit our YouTube channel, also called Cindy's Kitchen. So, if you're new or you're not new, make sure you say good morning and where you're from so that we can welcome you properly. Good morning, Annette. Good to see you. Hi, Julie from Northwest Houston. Linda Sue, good morning. Everybody have your coffee. I have my coffee. Mm. Oh, Michelle is on today. Michelle, good to see you. Hey, Rose, good morning. Galt, Illinois. That's right, Linda, I knew that. Good morning from North Carolina, Beverly. Larissa, my, my little Texas daughter, hello. Good to see everyone. It's a big day. It's a big day uh, and a lot of, um, of really, I'm grateful, I'm blessed, right? As we, the last two days, we've been so nervous about the hurricane headed our direction. Good morning, Britt, good to see you. How is Stillwater today? And, um, and of course, uh, it missed us totally. Now, you know, the one thing is, I almost felt guilty praying that it wouldn't hit us because it's gonna hit somebody, and I almost felt like I was praying, please hit somebody else, right? Which is bad, but, um, so, I, I, obviously, all those folks in, in Louisiana, and I think it's headed to Arkansas, uh, in our prayers, um, so I don't, I don't know that any of our Cindy's Kitchen community is from uh, Louisiana or Arkansas. Um, so if you know of someone who's been watching us and they're in that path, please let us know so we can be praying for them particularly. Good morning, Gail. Good to see you. Hello, Jamie from sunny Edmond, Oklahoma. Good to see you guys. Hey, Lisa. Yeah, we didn't even get any rain. Like, no rain. Like, nothing. There was a little wind, just enough to cool things down, but that was it. Like, nothing, nothing. I could have done with a little rain, but there you go. Who's gonna complain? Who's gonna say, hey, I wanted something? No, I'm not doing that. I'm happy and joyful that we are alive, we are safe, all is good, all is right. Good morning, Deb, love you too, babe. Hello, Nell from North Carolina. Oh, Susan's on today. I'm excited to see Susan. I think Susan is gonna come visit me when her daughter does, and that would make me very happy. Susan, you can say, yes, you're coming if you are. <laughs> Remember, if you're on, make sure you're, we don't do lurking, no lurking. You must say hello and where you're from so that we can greet you into our wonderful cooking community. Yes, Lisa, thank goodness it wasn't uneventful for us, but obviously not for Lake Charles. Lake Charles, I think, got hit very badly, so. Anyway, we're gonna start. Are you ready to start? Are you ready to start? All right, let's do our last, let's do our cheer. Good morning from Texas, Kimberly. Hey, Deborah from Tennessee, good to see you. All right, so let's do our last toast, ready? Get your, raise your coffee, tea, Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, whatever it is, your lemonade, water. There you go, I hope, I like lurking. I know, Susan, I know you do. Good morning, Alice. All right, ready, cheers. Cheers, last sip of coffee. Mmm, so good. This pattern is called Garden Party, and I just actually got this cup a couple weeks ago. Can you imagine? This is like one of the oldest patterns. I didn't have it. I was like, you know what? I don't even have anything, so there you go. Morning, Vicki. All right, what's cooking in Cindy's kitchen today? Well, today we're making some Jewish classic recipes. Now, I may not make them exactly the way is classic Jewish, but I'm gonna give it my all. And why am I doing this, you ask? Cindy, we made noodle kugel. We made that other apple thing. Why are we doing this? And here's the answer, and I know you'll think it's silly, but um, 
So uh, there's a company called The Great Courses, and we used to order, I've talked about them, we used to order classes on DVD and watch them. And they're long, it's like attending a college class. So it's not like watching a, a movie, it's like a college lecture. Um, but they're now a video, uh, available on my Amazon Prime. And so um, I, there was a 24 episode class of one on uh, the Black Plague. Hello, Melinda. Good morning, Mary. Oh, hold on. I have to read this. Hold on. Last night on the Games of Games, what do you call an animal that only eats plants? Presbyterian. <laughs> that is hilarious. A Presbyterian. Uh, not this Presbyterian. She eats meat, too. Good morning, Lori. Anyway, so I watched that whole one on the Black Death. It was on the plague and the history of that. And then I started watching one on Eastern Europe because I know a lot of things about Western Europe, you know, England, Scotland, France, but I really didn't know a whole lot about Eastern Europe. And as much as I love Polish pottery, I wanted to learn some more about that area and its history. Well, what I came to found out, find out is that in um, both the plague class and the Eastern Europe class, um, the Jewish communities were forever being blamed for things, killed off for things, moved, retaliated against. It was really kind of an icky thing, right? Um, good morning, Lori. Good morning, Diane from West Michigan. Um, hey, Vicki. Good morning from OKC. Anyway, so it, it just made me think, hey, I haven't made matzo ball soup in a long time. So we're going to start. We're going to make matzo ball soup and we're going to make potato latkes. Now, that being said, we're going to start with the matzo ball soup, and I'm not making it from scratch. What was the website on your history? Um, it's it's thegreatcourses.com, but, um, and they have, I think they have a special where you can download it to your tablet or whatever. I was on my Amazon Prime account on my TV, and I was doing a search, and it came up, and they had a seven-day free trial, so I'm still on the free trial, but there you go. Okay, that being said, <clears throat> I'm not making it from scratch. And, and the only re I mean, it's not difficult, but here's the reason why. I want, if you have never had matzo ball soup, I just want you to try it. Because it is like the chicken noodle soup, the homemade chicken noodle soup that your mother made, right? Or chicken and dumplings. So that's what I want you to think about, but it's a different culture. And I always want you to try new things because <clears throat> really there's a dumpling or a chicken recipe, chicken soup recipe from every culture. That being said, we're just using a box. I know you're like, we're doing a cooking show out of a box. The potato latkes are homemade. So anyway, I'm using Manischewitz. I, I, I don't know how many brands there are, but I'm using Manischewitz. And, the, and here's what you need to look for. Sometimes it just says matzo ball mix but it doesn't have the soup mix in it, and so then you need to make a chicken soup base. This one says matzo ball and soup mix, so it has everything you need in it, and it's $2.50, okay? $2.50, there you go. <clears throat> that being said, to this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two eggs, and that's it. So a pretty cheap meal. Okay, so inside we have two packages, two packages. One is the soup mix, and the other is the matzah mix. And really, it's, it's matzah meal, and it's um, uh, baking soda, and salt, and so it's not like horrible to make. It would be easy. But you might have difficulty finding matzah meal, whereas you might find this a little easier, okay? All right, so I opened my package of the matzah meal, and it looks almost like a cream of wheat. I'm gonna try to get it close enough a cream of wheat or a malto meal or something like that. So, hey, I'm on TV every day, Sandy. Well, except for Sunday, so there you go. Good morning, Nina. All right, so it says to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So that's, a, I, this is canola oil, but you know, pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of oil in here. One, look at that, I'm measuring. Are you proud of me? Two, and then I'm gonna add my two eggs. While I'm doing this, I'm curious. Please tell me, have you ever had matzo ball soup? I'm pretty sure Julie has, but let's just ask, okay? Putting my egg in the box. <laughs> uh, so, have you? if you've had matzo ball soup, say yes. If you've never had matzo ball soup, say no. Okay, 
Now we're just gonna need um, uh, a spatula, just a little spatula, and we're just gonna mix this up, okay? I'm gonna tilt this down just a wee tad, although I usually hold. No, Cindy's never had it, okay? All right, so we're gonna give this a stir, and we don't add anything to this. Now, I will say that I'm a naughty girl, and you know that I am always adding things. I normally add garlic powder to this. No, no, of course Julie has, I knew Julie had. Um, I add, I usually add garlic powder to this. Sometimes, I, I don't think I've ever added onion powder, but anyway, that's it. So, so if you look at it, there you go. Okay, that's what it looks like. Now, once we have this, and just for giggles, I'm just gonna put a little garlic in. And on the recipe, this is not traditional, right? Cat's Delis is the best. Oh, hey, Cherie, good morning. No, never. Yes, you can see the box up close. It's called Manischewitz Matzo Ball Soup and Soup Mix. Again, be careful, make sure you get the ball and soup mix. Um, and like I said, there are other brands out there. I just, I don't know, I usually buy Manischewitz. Okay, once it's all mixed up, you don't have to add salt or pepper or anything like that. Once it's all mixed up, put it in the bowl, leave it in the bowl, and we're gonna put it, you don't need to cover it or anything. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes, okay? So that's what it looks like. You like my bowl, don't you? You like my bowl. Okay, in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. <clears throat> While that's going on, hold on. Mm. The instructions say for us to get a big soup pot and to put 10 cups of water in here. I've already done that. So then we take our other package, which is right here, and get our kitchen scissors. Everybody should have kitchen scissors. And we put that in here, okay? I'm gonna give it just, it would break up, but I'm just gonna give it a little whisk. And you're like, well, that's not very much. And it's not, right? You can make a whole mix. Can you use crushed garlic? Um, I don't know that I would in this particular thing. I think I would either use garlic powder or just make it the way you normally, I mean the way, just according to the instructions, okay? Alita, good morning. Gosh, I've never seen you on our show. Good to see you. All right, so we have our powder in there. I'm gonna put this on to bring to a boil, okay? Uh-oh, did it go back on? Oh, there we go. All right, now while that's coming to a boil and our matzo ball mix is in the refrigerator for 15 minutes, we're gonna start on our potato latkes, okay? Gotta clean up my mess. Everything goes in the box. There we go, done. All right, now, so for potato latkes, you're gonna need two good-sized potatoes. I've already peeled these, okay? Um, so these are decent-sized potatoes, right? And you're gonna need one onion. Now, here's what I did with the onion. I left the root ball on the onion. You see, that's the root ball. I cut the other end off and peeled that outside layer. But it's still attached, every, so it's not falling apart and it's still attached at the root ball because that's what I'm gonna hold on to, okay? So just so you know. Now, um, here's the other thing. This is a little, oh my goshy. And if I, if I wanted to use a food processor, this would be so much easier. I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna do it this way. And um, I don't need this for the potatoes, but I might need this for the onions. This is one of Philip's extra masks. So there you go. He put something on under here, but then he has this. Isn't this funny? Although it's way too big for me. I can't wear that. It's way too big. Anyway, so I'm gonna use my box grater. Hello, Miss Posey. I, you know, ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Uh, did you know uh, that that, okay, we're gonna just grate it. I'm gonna do it on this side. If you have a food processor, you can put it on the grate, go but not doing that. Um, no problem, Cindy. Good morning, Doris, good to see you. See, I mean, it's, it's not like this takes, it's not rocket science. If you're, if you're watching, make sure you say hello. We don't like lurkers. Anyway, that song, Miss Posey, I'm sure you know this, but that song, Ring Around the Rosy, Pocket Full of Posey, Ashes, Ashes, We All Fall Down, is, um, is, is really about things that supposedly that happened during the Black Plague. You know what I didn't know? I mean, this is not appetizing when we're cooking, but you know, I gotta talk while I move. So um, 
Did you know that uh, <clears throat> a lot of people assume that when you got the black plague that your hands turned black, but that is not the case. That did not happen. Um, so anyway. Oh, I didn't tell you. I'm in a bowl with a tea towel. Now, if you have cheesecloth, I don't. You can put a paper towel in here, but you need something because we're going to squeeze water out of here. Hey, Lois, good to see you. Okay, so this is my second tater. Tater number two. Um, anyway, um, I'm itchy. There we go. So, um, the, I, I was fascinated. And the other thing that <clears throat> I was really fascinated about was that, um, oh, you guys know each other. There you go. Was that really... Uh, our society hasn't changed. You know, black plague is not gone. It pops up every now and then. But, you know, we have antibiotics. Um, but when it happened, the people were like, they wanted, of course, back then the government was basically the church and the church was the government. But they were demanding that the government tell them what to do. The government didn't know. And they were demanding that the government tell them how this started. And, um, and they didn't know. And so rumors shot up. Oh, well, this came from, um, and, and one of it was that the Jews were poisoning the well water. Okay, so my potatoes are in there. I'm going to go ahead and grate the onion now. This is when I need the, the face mask, right? And when it probably would be better, I'm not, my nails, I'm not worried about that. California. Well, awesome. Oh, I dropped the onion. This is because, you know, the onion makes you cry. This is where the food processor would come in great handy, right? Oh, mama's arms. Mama's arthritic arms. I really should have. Hold on. Ugh. Do you do that where you're like, okay, come on. You can do this. You can do it, right? All right. Lori was so, I think it was Lori. Lori was so wonderful yesterday. She has this cool little dicing machine from, I think it was William Sonoma. I can't remember where it was from. And so she sent me a picture of it and it is really cool. I'm gonna have to think about that. You know, I have way too many devices. Okay, that's enough. I've, I've about to get the potatoes off the paper towel. See, these just came right off. So there you go. Okay, there we have our, our potatoes and onion mixture. Yay, Shawnee, we're doing, um, we put together, hold on, I need my little wet wipe. We put together uh, some matzo ball mix. I have not made sweet potato latkes. I'm gonna have to try that. And now we're gonna make potato latkes. All right, so now we have our potatoes. We're gonna need two eggs. Here's our eggs. Did everybody, um, and Shawnee, I'm on every, we're all here, we're here every day, Monday through Saturday at 11 o'clock. So if you wanna hit the notification button, then you'll get notifications every time we come on. We're gonna need some salt. And I know you're gonna think this is a lot, but it's not really. Two teaspoons, two teaspoons of salt, okay? One and two. We're gonna need some pepper. I'm just gonna use a teaspoon of pepper for your poppycock. We're gonna need some baking powder, the powder, not the yellow box. Can I come to your house and cook? Oh, I would love to. I haven't been to California in a couple of years. Okay, how much do I need? Just one teaspoon. One teaspoon of baking powder. And we need, oh, I need the half a cup. Uh, flour. You like my flour container? You do, I know you do. Okay, and we're gonna need a half a cup of flour. La la la, there we go, half a cup of flour. All right, probably the best thing I could do, let me make sure I got everything in, yes, 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 yes. Okay, probably the best thing I could do is this, but I'm using this for right now. Um, no, you know I need to use my hands, don't you? We're gonna try it this way, cause you know how I am, right? You know how I am. I, yes, yes, Shawnee. Hey, so how many of you saw that I posted for me to talk to you and let you see what's going on. Oh, let you see what's going on if it's this way. So I apologize. I'm gonna do this so you can see stuff. All right, so here's my big pot. This is my big soup pot. If you remember, the instructions on the box 
said for us to put in 10 cups of water and that packet of soup mix, soup flavoring. Really, it almost looks like a ramen package, right? That's what it kind of looks like. Um, now, when you make it, obviously you make homemade chicken stock. You can put celery and carrots and onions in here. You can put chicken in here and make this more like a soup. Um, I'm not doing that. I'm just doing it exactly what the, the uh, package instructions say. Good morning, Deanne, good to see you. Okay, I've lost, there we go. Okay, so this is almost to a boil and here's what our mix looks like. So I just took it out of the refrigerator so you can see, right? It's stiffer, it's stiffer. It's gotten, yeah, it's gotten more stiff. There we go, you see? All right, so what we're gonna do is make this into balls, balls, because the soup is called matzo ball soup. Hold on. Now, the instructions on this particular box says uh, that it makes, what doesn't say? What doesn't say how many balls it makes? Blah, 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 blah. remove it doesn't say but I would figure this amount probably makes six good she keeps moving crap six good sized balls right um, that being said I'm, I started making this when my kids were a little bitty just because I wanted my kids to, to taste all kinds of foods and so I would let's just make this let's see what this is and so this actually came to be one of my kids' favorite soups, was matzo ball soup. And quite frankly, $2.50 and two eggs and poof, we got soup. That being said, because they were little, I didn't want the big ball. That's what you normally see, those large matzo balls sitting in the soup, and that's traditional. I make little bitty ones. Um, so you can kind of, you can do the big ball, you can do the medium, or you can do the tiny balls. And the difference is, when you do the smaller ones, they tend to float faster and, and you can eat them in one bite. A larger one tends to be a little bit more dense. And what you do traditionally is you take the, the large matzo ball, you put it in your bowl, and then you ladle the soup on top of it. And you, you use your spoon and you go all the way around eating it. The inside, of course, the outside is more fluffy and light. And then the inside is more dense. So there you go. All right, that being said, um, and I have a little bowl here. It's just, it's just water because this, the mixture is a little sticky. So I'm gonna put water on my hands and I've just, oops, and I've just got a, a teaspoon here. And so I'm gonna get like a teaspoon. Because my hands are wet, it'll roll into a nice little ball, right? And then I'm gonna dump that in. So that's all it is. How hard is that? If the mixture starts sticking to your hands, see, look, roll it into a ball, ta-da, drop it in. Uh, if the mixture starts sticking to your hands, just put your dip your hands in the water again. Good morning, Laurie. It's okay, we're making matzo ball soup and potato latkes. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my oil for our potato latkes. Interesting, I have never, I don't know that, I, I know you guys will go, what? I have never until today used peanut oil. I've used canola oil, vegetable oil, um, olive oil, I don't know, coconut oil, but I'd never used peanut oil. And part of it was because of the cost. I was like, well, that kind of cost a lot. Um, we don't have peanut allergies here, so it certainly wasn't that. Um, but almost every recipe uh, for potato latkes um, talks about how good things turn out if you use peanut oil. So I thought, what the hey? And so look, peanut oil. Just a small one, because if I don't like it, then I haven't bought a big thing. Hey, Judy, good morning. Wow, there's a chemical fire in Lake Charles. Oh, that's awful. But you have to figure, it's kind of like uh, in Texas, down in Texas City in Lamarck, we have um, a lot of chemical plants down there. And so anytime there's a storm, that's a big scary too. All right, so we're just rolling the balls up. Um, I know you're going, okay, I'm watching a cooking show to watch her roll up stuff. It, not very exciting, I'm sure, but there you go. All right, did I turn that off? Yes, I did. Okay, the heat goes on medium high. So, and then we'll, we'll figure out, I'm almost done with this. Oh, look how cute those are. They'll about double in size. That's why I make them smaller. 
just because I know they're gonna poof up. They're gonna poof up. Okay, and here's my last little bit. The youngest isn't home, so I can make one box. When the youngest was home, I had to make two boxes so that everybody got enough matzo balls. Because you know, otherwise, nobody's happy. Okay, all right. Oh, it's making ding, ding, ding noises. It's going plop, plop, plop. Okay, here's what we gotta get. Yeah, I love these things. Has, have you guys gotten these from Rebecca yet? It's like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Okay, um, I'm gonna go get our, our potato mixture. Okay, here's our potato mixture. I'm mixing it up again just to give it another little mix. See, there it is. All right. All right, and we're gonna start, actually, I'm gonna add just a little bit more flour because while it sat there, it got a little juicy. I used about another tablespoon of flour just because you really should move a little faster than I moved. Okay, here we go. I need, let's see, let me get another spoon. What kind of spoon do I want? Spoon, spoon, hold on, let me get another spoon. Okay, I got another teaspoon. Here we go. Oh, it's making snap, crackle, pop sounds. All right, so we're gonna, I think I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit, okay. Just take it and we're gonna drop it in the grease, okay? Don't make, you don't need to worry about the patty. We're just gonna drop it in the grease, okay? I have a good size skillet here just because I'm lazy when it comes to making batches. So I figured I could get everything done in two batches if I use this big skillet. Okay, so I have a, I have about enough, if you see, there are two, four, six, seven in my pan, and I probably have enough for another seven. Now, you wanna take your uh, spatula, whatever kind of spatula, and now's when you wanna kinda press them down, because you don't want a big ball but you don't have to, you don't want to have to worry about rolling that stuff out, okay? So we're just gonna press them down just a bit so they're more patty shaped, although you can tell how I drop them in there. It's not patty shaped at all. Can you see that my I'm gonna move the thing. Can you see that my matzo balls are floating? Can you see that? Look at that. Look, they're floating. The little matzo balls, they be floating, and the water's boiling and everything is yummy. Okay, now because we have this on a medium high heat, hold on, I'm gonna use two. Have you ever seen me fry anything on this show? You have not. Why? Because I, I'm gonna let that cook just a little bit longer. Because I hate frying things. You have the purple spatula, yeah. All right, now you need a plate or a dish or something with a paper towel. So I just have this big one and here we go. Those of you who are Polish pottery people, don't forget tonight, Rebecca at More Polish Pottery has her Facebook Live tonight at six o'clock. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what is new. All right, I think this one, yep, this one is a good, pretty golden color. Ooh, can you see that good, pretty golden color or is it just, is it not high enough? Hold on, I'm flipping. Ooh, pretty, can you see? Tell me if you can see. Tell me if you can see. Flip, oh, that one I flipped too early. That's okay. Flip, oh, that one's a pretty color. <laughs> it's like, woo, I know, I can't wait either. That's why I wanna flip them early. Come on, come on, come on, cook, 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 cook. Right? This one looks like it's ready. Ooh, pretty. Come on. Is that one? Let me see, let me see. Oh, that one looks pretty. All right, we'll go ahead and flip the last one, and there we go. Oh, look how pretty those are. Aren't those pretty? I know, pretty latkes. Yummy, and look. Okay, 
I don't know if you can tell, but from where we started, that matzo ball is much bigger than what I rolled in my hand. So there we go. Now I'm gonna put the lid on the, there we go. I'm gonna put the lid on here and just let that cook for a little bit longer while we finish these up. And then, um, oh, you can see, good, I'm so glad. I never know if anybody, you know, what the, there's lights everywhere, there's cabinets, I'm leaning over the fire, I'm gonna catch on fire one day, who knows, I don't know. You know, I didn't see a whole lot of you that said you were gonna cook along. I'm a little sad, I'm very sad, boo hooey. Needed smell vision Doris, we do need smell vision um, I really think it's gonna be fun to cook along, and you can tell me, Hey, you can ask questions as we go. You can say, hey, mine doesn't smell right. Or is it supposed to burn like this? So it'd be fun. I mean, I know that I can't hear you, but I can hear, I can hear you. <laughs> All right, I think we're, let me see. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. Almost there. Oh, so pretty. Okay, almost there. And then I will put the next stack in. Now, those of you who have never, I didn't ask if anybody had had potato latkes before. Okay, so let me know, have you ever had a potato latke? Now, I know you might think, well, is this just a hash brown? Well, a hash brown is just potatoes. A hash brown could be hash, uh, could be hash browns and onions in there, but usually a hash brown is just potatoes. So a latke is not a hash brown. You actually could use frozen hash brown potatoes, you know, thawed out, in this recipe, and then you wouldn't have to, oh, peel and, uh, peel, oh, oh, it got me. It got me. No, no, Gail has, no. All right, I'm gonna start taking them out and putting them on our, on our little plate. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now, what do you think, though, especially those of you who have never had it? Now, if you've had, no, used to make with your grandmother when you were young. Never had either of those. Joanne has. All right, those of you who have never had a potato latke, what do you think we eat with them? Like, it, what kind of condiment do you think we eat with them? I'm interested to hear what you think while I make the next batch. You tell me what you think we make, or we eat with them. Because I promise you, you're gonna be wrong. Unless you've had, oh, oh, I just kind of threw that in the pan, didn't I? I just tossed that in there. Okay, so I didn't get a whole seven more, but I did get four more, and these are, these are decent size. Okay. And so then I'm gonna take my little spatula and just kind of smush that down so it's more patty. Oh, Doris, you knew. Gail, you knew the answer. You guys have had them before. Cheater, cheater, cheaters. Okay, so we're gonna let these look at this. And actually, they are correct. You use applesauce or sour cream. Smoked salmon. Oh, now that's an option. I don't know that I've ever heard of that. I don't like salmon, so I'm not your girl for that. But the answers are sour cream and applesauce. So we're gonna get some plates and we're gonna get a bowl and we're gonna dish up all of our stuff. Just, I do ketchup. See, Melinda, that's what I was thinking everybody would say. I was like, ooh, wouldn't ketchup be yummy on this? I'm thinking it would be. Okay, let me see. I'm impatient. I know that you don't, um, you don't believe that Cindy would be impatient, but I am. One. I'm gonna move this over here. Two, one on the, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is why I don't fry things. I'm like, ah, ah. Is this like a potato pancake? Yes, Judy. So if you were uh, German, Germans have potato pancakes. Now, and, and it's one of the reasons I found those um, history uh, shows so fascinating because it's not like the Jews were from a particular place. I mean, I think we all think all Jews are from Israel, but really there's Russian Jews. They're, they lived in Poland for a long time. Horseradish, yum. Um, they lived in Poland for quite a while. But during the, the two wars, uh, World War I and World War II, man, they were moved here, there, and yon. And during the Black Plague. 
And so whole communities were up and moved and or persecuted. And so what you have is, you know, you have recipes that were a meld of like Polish heritage and Jewish heritage because they intermarried. They lived in community together. And so there you go. Um, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move these just a little bit so I have room for my new ones. Look how pretty those are. Okay, so I'm going to do a bowl and um, yeah, some spoons. Um, hold on, and we're going to move the camera back. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready to go back so we can do our taste test? Say yes, say yes, 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 and we'll move. All right, just a second. You guys go ahead and move. I'm going to take these out. I'm going to turn this off and take these out, and I'll join you momentarily. La di da, here we go. Almost there. One more to come out. Okay. Oh, ta and da. Look how beautiful these are. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Look how gorgeous those.